Okay, what's going on guys? We have this question right here. It's asking find the zero first members and we have a zero first member rule right here. It's it says if a joint has two bars or two forces or one bar and one force non collinear both must be zero. So the second rule says if in a joint there are three bars or three forces or any combination of forces and bars that adds three and two of them are collinear and one of is not the one that is non collinear is zero. So let's see how we can apply this to this diagram. So first of all if you see AB, AB and AF if I draw it separately here so if you see the both of them are both of them are non collinear right uh, if, you, if I join two bars uh, non collinear it means both must be zero therefore AB and uh, AF both as both are zero so we, we use first first law first law so that's how we do and this is the so therefore there's no force here so if it's so we avoid this bar and let's move to the next one so let's uh, if you see f if i take f f bar f if you should see it has three different bars and nothing is collinear so i can do anything about it but if i move to h h is a straight bar it has a collinear uh, two bars and one is non collinear so i can apply the uh, second law it says if a joint has three bars and two of them are collinear one is not the non collinear is equal to zero so therefore we know this this is zero so i i take that here g h is first law first law right and then uh, if I move to the so we, we we shouldn't take this point so let's let's see the next one so fi ik ij we, we can't nothing is called in here so I can't do anything about that but if I move to the top one b b has one uh, this force we had to count this force too so this is one two three four we can't do anything about that and if I move to g it is it has nothing that g doesn't even exist Oh, G, G exists because it has one more thing right here. So it's a collinear. Uh, G, B, and G, J is uh, collinear, and G, F is non collinear. So this is, I can apply the second rule. Therefore, this is zero. So I can say G, F is non collinear because second rule. And this is G, H is second rule, right? Second rule. And then. Uh, we have now if I go back to B it still says still the same thing four forces acting we can't do anything about that um, then I can take this one F I and F B right since nothing in the middle this one we removed it already so it's going to be F I and F B both of them are non collinear and it's two forces so I can remove both of them it's gonna be F FB first rule and FI FI also first rule so we can just remove this and this This is actually F uh, F H. So let's say let's say F H F H first rule. So we remove this part, and we have this part. It has three different. Wait a minute. Okay. The three three different variables. So we can't do anything about, but. If I move to the top now, so we have B J B J and J K and J I. So if you see, this is collinear and this is non-collinear. So I can remove this part. If I remove it, it's uh, I I J is zero. It's second row. 
and then uh, from this one I can say um, this one this H, H point doesn't even exist because we remove this so it means it doesn't exist at all and so since we have this one right here I K and so wait a so this is a single line one bar one force one bar one force so it is zero automatically I K just a one bar right so it's first row and then we move to the top part top part if we can't do anything about B because it has three different forces one three different lines one bar the force is counted as one bar so one bar this one this one so three we can't do anything about nothing is collinear uh, G J K this is collinear but JC is non collinear so I can remove that that is zero JC second row and then we can we, if we move to this one uh, JK JM JL nothing is collinear so I can't do anything about that this one C uh, if, you, if I take the straight line I can remove this DL because this is not these are collinear this is non collinear so DL is according to the second law it's zero and then if we move to this one uh, since that doesn't exist so if I made to C L M so C C L so first of all if I move to B C D so these are collinear and this is non collinear so this doesn't exist second rule C L second rule and then if a DL is removed this is removed this is a straight line and we have this one here LE LM uh, this is three different poses we can't do anything about it this one also three different poses we can't do anything about it and if I take this one this one has five you may ask how because we know in the external we know there's two forces acting on it so we can't do anything about it nothing is called in here and this one is actually four and we can't do anything about it if it's more than three we can't do anything about it and that's all it is so these are all the first remote so my new picture is going to be this this so this is the picture you have to draw and find if you if it has given to find something so other all of the other forces are zero so three six nine eleven so now eleven zero forces we have and this is how we do I hope you guys like this video see you next time